y'all and welcome to today's video. I am so excited because I have here with me the new Nomad palette. This palette is all about the fall vibes. I am here for it. I love the colors on the front. This is the Hudson Valley palette. You open it up and we have such a beautiful fall color story. Now, I think you can wear whatever you want any time of year. You wanna wear neons on Christmas, go for it. You wanna wear a black smoky eye in the middle of spring, go for it. But I do love a theme. I love a theme and I feel so inspired looking at this color story. I want a slice of pumpkin pie. I wanna cozy up by the fire, even though it's still like 95 degrees here in Mississippi today, it doesn't matter. I wanna go through a corn maze looking at this color story. So we are gonna swatch this palette. I'm gonna create a look. I'm gonna give you my first impression thoughts on this palette. And if you are new here, I wanna say, hey, my name is Heather and makeup makes me happy. Here at my channel, we don't try to be perfect. We just wanna have a good time with our makeup, whatever that means, shimmer, glitter, fall palettes, we're here for it. So if that sounds good to you, I do hope that you will subscribe before you leave today because I upload lots of new videos every single week, like just about every day here lately, sometimes more than one video a day. So if you want new fun makeup videos to watch, make sure you subscribe. I cannot wait to show you this palette though. So let's jump into it. <music> talk about this palette. This palette was sent to me from Nomad. I do have an affiliate code with Nomad. My code is Heather. If you want to save, don't have to use it, but I always like to let y'all know if I have a way for you to save. Now, this is the Nomad Hudson Valley palette, and there's always like cute inserts and stuff from Nomad and actually one of the owners of Nomad is from this area. So there's like a map here. There's a little scratch and sniff with a fall scent. There's a cute postcard, which I love that Nomad does that. So I'm gonna show you a close up of the palette and read to you the story. Nestled between Manhattan and Albany, New York, the 150 mile long Hudson Valley is breathtaking in autumn. I will not read all of it to you, but I kind of wanted to throw out the destination stuff. Uh, it says it has lots of historic towns like Sleepy Hollow, Woodstock, you can pick apples, farm to table restaurants. I just really, really, really cute. So I'm also going to show you some swatches of this palette. There are 12 mattes and three shimmers. And the cause says that they are proud to support scenic Hudson that protects the Hudson River and surrounding lands. I think that is so wonderful. Nomad, I want to say always donates to some type of charity with their palette. And I do want to let you know, I'm going to be doing one look today. I try to do more than one look in these types of videos, especially with Nomad palettes, because I love the brand so much, but I'm actually getting ready to leave on vacation. And if you know, like packing for vacation, getting everything right, I, I wanna have this video up. You're actually watching this while I'm on vacation with my family. So we're just gonna do one look today. I will do my best to maybe get a look up on TikTok or Instagram as well. So if you're following me there, you can definitely check it out. But if not, I'm gonna have swatches like you already saw and everything in this video. This palette is super pretty though. I love the foiled packaging on this kind of fall background. As always, we have a nice big mirror in here. And then this color story, of course, is very fall. I like that we have some cool tones in here. I like that we have some warm tones. Again, mostly mattes, 12 mattes with three shimmers. So I wanna play with this palette. I wanna create a look. I feel very inspired. We do have the signature Nomad like embossing in the pans. I'll go through that with y'all. Just so, so fun. But I want to do the look and then we will talk more about this palette. If I didn't say it yet, I will put all the details that I have down in the description box. I know this is launching on Tuesday, I believe, but definitely check the description box. All the information will be there, but I am going to prime my eyes. I'm going to zoom y'all in and we are going to play with this beautiful fall palette. 
Okay, my eyes are primed. I used my MAC paint pot today. And I, th I feel like my first instinct is like warm tones. Let's play with those. But I know I've been doing some pretty colorful, bold look lately. So I think I'm going to take inspiration from these six shades over here. They're a little more muted. They're cooler in tone. Really cool toned, actually. And... I just think that will be fun. Even though we have this kind of column of green shades, I think we'll still kind of focus on a more neutral look. So let's do that. Let's do that. I'm just, these shades are kind of calling to me. We have the Headless Horseman imprinted here. We have, uh, looks like a farm here, Mountain Hiker, uh, apple cider donuts, a farm with a fork, and some like kitchen utensils. So what I'm going to go in with first actually is this kind of like gray shade right here. Apple cider donut. It has donuts imprinted in the pan. So fun. Okay, so no creases in my eye primer. I'm going to go in with this shade. This is a What's Up Beauty brush. And I'm just going to buff this shade all over. This is going to be fun. Ooh, yeah. I know my last few videos that y'all have seen have been some pretty bold and intense looks. And we're still going to, like, we're not going to create a non-intense a non look. It's still going to be pretty, pretty intense. But it's going to be way less colorful, a little more muted, which I think will be really fun for this kind of fall themed palette. But now I'm going to take this blend bunny brush. This is a B5 and I kind of want to go into mountain hike. This mid-tone shade right here so we kind of have a mountain hiker uh, embossing and after that I'm going to go in with bed and breakfast that kind of has the kitchen utensils in there. Okay so I'm taking the shade mountain hike and I'm putting it right here. This is a Blend Bunny brush, and then I'm going in with this BH brush into the shade Bed and Breakfast, and I'm just putting it on the lid, blending it out and around like this, so that I'm going to have a matte shade, a shimmer shade is going to go here in the middle, and then we have this other matte shade here. So I used this shade, Mountain Hike, and then Bed and Breakfast right down here. Now, uh, Mountain Hike has like a little mountain climber embossed in the pan, and then Bed and Breakfast has the breakfast tools. Something that I love about Nomad is the embossings on their pans are really in there. Like they're really in there, so you're not going to, you know, use this palette two or three times and not have your embossing anymore. Like that embossing is really going to stay through a lot of uses, which I, I like because we've all had products before where we're like, oh my gosh, it's so cute. And then you find out it's like a glitter overspray. And once you wipe or swatch or use the product once, it's something different underneath. Or you have this beautiful embossing and the first time you use it, the embossing is gone. So I really like that with Nomad. They make sure the embossing on the pan is really, really in there. So it's gonna stay pretty for a long time. And then of course the packaging is always so beautiful. Okay, now that I have those shades on, I wanna go onto the lower lash line. So what I'm gonna do is go in with Farmer's Market right here, the light shade. It looks like we have like some trees and stuff printed on the pan. And I wanna put that on the lower lash line. I'm gonna buff it and blend it kind of low, but then really close to the lower lash line. Just for some definition, I'm gonna go in with Farm to Table. So I'm gonna start off with this Blend Bunny number two brush and the shade Farmer's Market. And I'm going to really put this, oh, I picked up too much on my brush. I can kind of see the powder, but I did kind of dip in the pan a bit too much. Okay, but that is beautiful. That is pigmented. I'm going to make sure it connects kind of out here and just blend it underneath. Oh, that is such a pretty shade very very pigmented okay so then once i have that down then i'll go in with that 
cool toned, really dark brown farm to table. And I'm picking up this Cleona brush and I'll keep this, like I said, just right there at the lash line, just pressing it in just like that. So see, we have the definition closest to the lash line and then it kind of fades out to this lighter green shade. All right, now we're going to highlight the inner corner with a ghost tour. This one that has the headless horseman. If you know me, you know I love stories and legends and all things like that. And Sleepy Hollow is definitely on our like Halloween time watch list. <laughs> we love watching that. Me, my husband, my son. I would love to go to Sleepy Hollow one day. Oh my gosh. That would be so fun. But look how pretty for a matte inner corner shade. Now this would be a really pretty all matte look in my opinion. I would just take this green that we put here, Mountain Hike, and I would bring it over a little further. Done. All matte look completely done. But I want to use a shimmer. This palette has three shimmers. So far, this is performing like my favorite Nomad palettes. Like the formula is beautiful. And I mean, I do really love Nomad. I have a whole Nomad playlist. You can check it out if you're curious. But yes, let's look. I'm trying to think of what shade I want to use. I think I'm going to avoid Corn Maze, which is that green, uh, because I don't want to just do like a monochromatic look. I don't feel like it's too monochromatic now, but we also have Foliage Trail and Leaf Peeping. So if you can tell Corn Maze, so all three shimmer shades have the outline of New York, the state on them, but Corn Maze has corn inside the New York, Foliage Trail has the Nomad logo inside the New York, and Leaf Peeping has leaves inside of the New York. I'm telling you, Nomad, they're always here with the details, but what I think I'm gonna do is this shade right down here, Leaf Peeping. So I'm gonna take that. The brush I used for the inner corner was from Odin's Eye. The brush I'm gonna use for my shimmer shade is Unearthly. Okay, so I've got this brush. This is kind of a fluffier brush, but it's still small. And I'm just going to put this in the center. Sometimes I will take shades like this when I'm doing just like one shimmer in the center. In the center, I will take it up kind of high. But I just want to keep this right here. I don't want to go above my socket. I just want to go right here in the center and then I'm just going to kind of fade it out like that but I'm feeling this look we created a hmm toned down neutral leaning eye while still having fun with like a little bit of color but I'm into these soft tones uh, I know we only stayed on like one half of the palette with this look but I'm kind of feeling it. So I'm gonna see if I need to blend anywhere. I'm gonna put on liner, lashes. I will come back. This is basically the finished look though. This is basically the finished look, but I'm gonna come back once I uh, do the rest and we'll talk about my thoughts on this palette. Here is the look with liner and lashes. I feel so fall. Give me my pumpkin spice latte, stat. <laughs> That's how I feel. That's how I feel. I love this eye look. I added some Kiss Royal Silk Lashes. And on my cheeks, I'm using the Natasha Denona My Dream Treak. Treak? Treak? Cheek? A trio. So I'm wearing the blush, the highlighters, everything in that trio. That's the blush and highlight I have on. And then for my lips, I'm wearing... Juvia's Place Scorpio Lip Liner, and I just put on some of my NYX Bloom Gloss. I will link it all down below. I went in with brown eyeliner instead of black. I don't know. I just felt like this look was calling for brown liner, so I used my Milk uh, Infinity Longwear Eyeliner. This is the shade Limitless. It's just the brown one. I think they only have like black, brown, and blue right now. So this is the finished look. Again, I feel very fall. 
Let me tell you, this palette is the same consistent quality that I have been loving from Nomad. The Haunted Europe palette, the Iceland palette, the um, Costa Rica palette. I was trying to think of some just off the top of my head. The French palette they just came out with. All the palettes that I have tried from Nomad, it's that same great quality. I really love the packaging. Like, the perfect fall palette, really. Hello. I have swatched the shades that I haven't put on my eyes. I feel like the formula is the same. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. I'm excited to play with this more. Again, I will try, try, try my hardest to see if I can get another look. Maybe just something super quick for TikTok and Instagram. So definitely check there if you want more inspiration. But... I love this look. I think it's beautiful. I'm definitely planning to do a, you know, my my top fall palettes or the best palettes for fall or something like that uh, when I get back from vacation. I want to get that up for y'all, but this palette will definitely have to be in there. I want to try it just a little bit more, but it's good. Listen, it's the great Nomad formula that I love. This screams fall. It screams fall to me. I'm so excited to be wearing this look for the rest of my day. I feel like it's so, I don't know. I want to say fun, but more like fall vibes, of course. But I like the cool toned while still having some color. I just, I really, really feel good in this look. I love Nomad as a brand. Don't forget, I will put everything in the description box. If you wanted to get your hands on this palette, all the info will be there. But I'm gonna say thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having a super awesome, amazing day. And I will see you very soon tomorrow in another video. Bye. Thank you.